Good afternoon, folks. I've got another purchase from Yankee Candle, another semi-annual sale haul to share with you today. And this time it's from Pure Radiance. Is the only line I purchased from today because of the sale that they were offering. So let's just jump right in, and I just want to give a heads up. The lighting may change. It might look like it'll get a little more dark or shadowy, and then it'll get brighter again because there's some huge clouds outside. Um, and then it kind of blocks the sun here and there and so you might see the lighting change okay so the first one is pure radiance crackling pumpkin well it's the pumpkin it's the, <laughs> the candle that crackles this is the one I've tried before um, when I it didn't have these ridges on it when I purchased it before at one of the discount stores and it actually surprised me how strong it smelled um, when lit for being a soy candle. This is the same. It's also a pumpkin. So I'll put those over there. The next one I got, let's go ahead and do this one. This one looks like it's holly, but the sweet ladies at my store put this aside for me because it's actually cherry gin fizz and it has a mistaken label on it and it was nowhere to be found in the store looks like they highlighted it in yellow too this is a really interesting smell oh it's like a treat it's gonna be maybe mm -hmm. super sweet but as you know that won't be breaking my heart oh it's a little bit off-centered huh i have another little one upstairs i think is off-centered hmm Hopefully that will not affect the burn. Perhaps that's why some of these are moving out and being replaced by Woodwick, I believe. Okay, the next one is actually Holly. Now Holly would almost be a scent I may not normally tend toward. However, it's a really nice scent during the holidays. Oh, it's pretty nice. This one is not too strong, so I can't wait to burn it. And I'm actually, this is going to sound crazy, I am tempted to burn this soon. I've been kind of weird like that lately with the uh, fall candles also. I'm kind of like not going to let the season dictate what I want to burn. And just have some fun with that and see how that goes. Okay, the next one, this sounds really interesting. Vanilla cardamom. Vanilla cardamom, a beautiful vanilla orchid, vanilla beans, maybe some cardamom pods there. This one I'm very excited to try. Don't you just love, um, this resembles wood and even the knots in the wood. I really love this. This is going to be nice. I can't wait. I'll have to review these for you guys when I burn them also, perhaps. Very pretty. Okay, this one is apple chai. I see star anise. I see cinnamon stick and a fresh cut apple there. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, I think I'm going to love that. Apple. That's going to be nice. I can't wait to try that. I love the coppery bronzy lids. Aren't those pretty? Okay, very rich, all these colors. Very nice and rich colors. Okay, the next one is knocking me out. Um, sugared vanilla. These are all $7.50, and I just can't wait to even reuse the jars. It's just beautiful. So just like a pile of crystallized sugar. Almost looks like sugar in the raw. Do you guys remember that? Or brown sugar and um, vanilla bean pods there. Yum. Oh my gosh, this one. I could smell the smell all day long. I'll be just fine with it. Wow, that's going to be very, very nice. Yummy. Yum. Okay. Next. Oh my gosh, I'm super curious about this one. 
and this is my second to the last large jar Christmas candy so it's like that ribbon candy like classic Christmas candy this one oh my gosh really intrigued me in the store I I really honestly cannot wait to try this oh my gosh yum yum oh it's gonna be nice okay and switching gears a little bit uh, the last large jar I've got is this one, Casablanca, Casablanca, Lily, and Iris. So this has Lily and Iris. Those are also two flowers I don't tend to smell very often. I love gardens and the outdoors, but lilies I think I've attempted to smell um, over the years, but I've not really ever thought to smell an iris, and why not? So. Yankee is always um, being a good reminder to me to try and learn the different smells of flowers because it kind of, okay, this is a really silly thought and quick tangent, so I'm asking for forgiveness in advance, haha. <laughs> um, I want to be able to smell these floral scents and have a frame of reference in my mind first of a, of a particular flower, if possible, and then when I smell the candle, then I can know if it's authentic or not. Um, I don't want it to be that the candle is dictating what I've what I come to learn a scent is, um, because I just never really tried to smell it before. So, like in other words, I'm not going to be smelling um, irises. I love irises. I think they're really pretty. Um, I love bearded irises, but those that doesn't look like the kind we're talking about here. But um, iris flowers, like why not try to smell those? learn what they smell like and appreciate nature a little more. I'm curious about that. I used to think that it was almost being, not made up, but um, I think of roses um, as a scent to smell in, in, the, in the wild or outdoors. I think of certain things, but I don't think to smell like a sunflower or an iris for that matter, or a wild seagrass for that matter. <laughs> you, you get the idea. Okay. My line's getting too long. And then I've got this in a medium jar as well. And this is just a really pretty, kind of a, I heard someone, I'm borrowing this description, someone else said powdery. Totally agree with that. It is powdery and pretty. And I think that as a candle, just to look at this, is just gorgeous. That is one, that is one pretty candle right there. So there's that. And then I've got the last two here. These were only $4 each. Uh, to get a lid, a lidded jar, glass jar candle for $4 is a great little deal. Um, this one is in autumn air. Well, I'm going to come back to that one actually. This one is just another holly one. And to be honest, I was really just going to pick up the the uh, Lily and Iris and these Holly ones, a couple little ones, because I didn't think the large jars were on sale, but they told me that they were. Okay, so I got that in a small. Be a fun little gift for somebody who likes that fragrance, or a, a part of a gift. But this one, oh my gosh, you guys, I love, I really love this scent. I mean, like I almost based okay based upon the look based upon the label and the color of the wax I don't expect this to smell how it smells oh and you notice that the wick um, as the candles get smaller so does that wick a very interesting wick there but oh, this just smells like heaven it's got a really sweet element and just a nice fresh and sweet and it works so if there was other sizes of these I would have picked those up too but unfortunately they were gone there was no more Mary Mint there was um, no more of the large jars of these no more of the I think it was like a Christmas cookie or a holiday cookie so this is what was left um, I can't I can believe that the rest were picked over pretty good so here is my haul Oh my goodness, I better get burning um, that and get using these for gifts for people who might appreciate them. 
and I'm excited to share it with you. Did you find any candles like these um, at the sale? I would love to hear about it. Uh, I'd love to hear what your favorite um, Pure Radiance candles are because it's kind of sad. The line is going out. I, I've been a wood wick burner for many, many years, for decades actually. I've been burning wood wick candles, though not like ink candles. So I'm super curious how this change over is going to go. Um, my only thought is I know that wood wick, the glass can be fragile. Um, over the years, that's just been my personal experience. The glass on these is very thick and hardy. It's, it's like not going to be just wanting to break easily. Not that the others do, but anyway, that was a little side note there. I just really love these the look of these vase jars. They're super beautiful. Um, I just think it would be really nice to uh, have something you know, equivalent. So that's those are just a couple of random thoughts there. Thank you so much for watching my latest haul. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm officially getting myself into trouble, although not too much. I do save up for the semi-annual sales. Um, and then I will have plenty of candles to go um, to burn throughout the rest of the year. And so I'm real excited about that. Ooh, you see what I mean? It got very dark compared to a minute or two ago. So anyway, um, you take care and we'll talk again soon. Um, and I've got lots more to share. I hope to uh, do reviews on these as I do them. So thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.